Hey, welcome back to Talents Co. This is a What's All video for February, I guess it would be 19th, 20th, and 21st. So Friday, Saturday, and it's currently 5 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, so we may do the Monday video and fill in a couple other ones, but uh, there's 16 items that are sold. Um, not a ton of money, but some decent stuff. First one up is this one here. It's a, uh, Little jalapeno, jalapeno. Um, vase, I guess you want to call it. Fifteen dollars plus shipping. I got that out of a lot, so I'm making that maybe have like fifty cents in it. Let's see, I don't know. Uh, make about eleven dollars on that one. Uh, next up is a Stanley utility knife lot. It's been actually selling these things really well. I got twenty dollars plus shipping for it. Um, I had. Six bucks, I think, in the whole thing, and I've already got my money out of it. So we'll make about 15 bucks on that. Next up is a line L piece, which is this guy here. And it's kind of hard to see. I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see exactly what it is. $13 plus shipping. Um, we're well into the profits. I came out of that stoner's line L lot. So I'll make about $10 on that. This is the last Berenstain Bear lot. This is basically a set with three of the boxes. $30 plus shipping. You guys already know I'm into the pure profit on this thing. I'll make about $26 on that lot. Um, next up is a pair of shoes that Jen found. Goodwill? No. Community Aid. Community Aid. Um, Great shape. We paid, it was $8 and 50% off, so $4. I sold them for $26 and they took about a day or two. The day they're like new. It's like never even worn. Um, so $26 plus shipping. So I think about $18 on that. Really good money and didn't have it a whole lot of time either. Mm -mm. I was shocked. Yeah, it sold pretty quick. Uh, next up is this little snapper hat. Uh, $16 free shipping. Um, well into the profits that came out of that same lot as the McDonald's hat lot. So I'll make about 10 on this one. Next one I'm going to have to pop up. But you can see it sitting here. Um, it's an Afghan granny square one. Uh, it's not even a big one. It's only 31 inches by 54 inches. It's small. Uh, $30 plus shipping. May have a buck in each one. I'm not even sure if it's even that. Um, so we'll make about $26 on that one. And this one is the next one. It's a 1936 American Oil Company president stamp. I got this. I, it came out of a lot. It was just laying on the bottom of a box. So I have pennies in it. I got $20 free shipping. It will cost me like 3 bucks to ship this thing. Um, so I'll make about 15 bucks on it. Good profit for something that was just laying on the bottom of the box. Next up are these guys. It's a Monet clip-on earring. See, these are really, really nice. These came out of a Goodwill box. Um, $14 free shipping, so we'll make about 8 bucks on this one. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this might be a viewer sale. Because um, they left a note, and it says, Hi, Talents Cove. Great to see you. Happy New Year. It says, My husband Bob and I have a soft spot for the heart of PA. Nice to meet you. Uh, keep well and their name was Steph and Bob um, It looks like they're up in New York. So if they're a viewer, uh, you are a viewer. Thank you very much. We appreciate it um, These will go out to you Monday morning Next up is something I've had for quite a while um, The little three and a half drives you know, the neon ones. What are they? Or I'm sorry one and a quarter meg three and a half. Yeah old school um, ten dollars plus shipping um, I don't even know what I have in them. I've had them that long. So I'm going to assume I'll make about $7 on them. Um, next one I'm going to have to pop up here. It's, it's big. It's on over there. Um, I think I showed it in one of the videos because I think we had picked it up at a Goodwill or somewhere. I don't even remember anymore. Um, it's a Samsung DVD combo. It did not last long. I gave $8 for it. And I'm trying to think. it was $120 plus shipping. So I'll make an easy, you know, hundred bucks on this thing. Is that the one that had the remote? It did the, have the remote. Paperwork, paperwork, everything. It had everything. 
I, I don't even remember where I got it from. It was super nice. Um, I half believe I got that from Unity, Community Aid or Goodwill. It's one of the two. I don't, I'm just not sure which one. Uh, next one is this guy. It's a Space Invader. It's a vintage Entex one. Um, it was sold broken, parts repair. I got that out of the lot that had those really expensive ones. $15 free shipping. Um, so it's about a $10 profit. Next up are these monsters. There's a lot of three of Edison records. I mean, give me an idea. These things, they're quarter inch thick. These are recreations of the old Edison uh, vinyls. Making sure vinyls, you can knock somebody out with these things. Yeah, they're heavy. <laughs> $20 plus shipping. I got them out of a lot. I don't even, it was one of the auctions. I don't remember which one. It was it was just a whole bin of them. Um, and like I might have a dollar in them too if I'm lucky. And I still have like two more stacks of them over there. They actually sell fairly well. I haven't had them but probably six weeks. So I'll make profit about 15 bucks on those. And then two more. This guy, it's actually Uni the Postal Dog. It's uh, Some of these are misunderstood, so it's a set of 16. Guy shot me an offer for 18 bucks. I was asking for 22. I kept getting offers right around that price. I'm like, fine. I'm just done. 18 bucks, I'll ship them out. So it won't even take much to even ship these things. I'm still going to ship them first class, even though I don't have to. Um, I try to keep tracking them everything. So I'll make about 12 bucks on it. Um, there's actually one more that's not on this list for some reason. Uh, Crest Spin Brush. I got this out of an auction a while ago. I got a whole stack of these for like a buck. So I have pennies in this thing. $10 free shipping. I'll make about $4. It's all profit. Um, these, for some reason, I don't know why they're not on there. Are more utility knives. These are old Stanley's. Like these things tanks. Give you an idea. Those sold for $28 plus shipping. They'll pop up here. You'll see exactly what it is. Um, so it, it's all for pretty much pure, pure profit at this point. Um, a profit. So if it's at $28, i will profit about $22 on it. Um, and I don't have many left. Actually, if you look down here, those three are the only ones I have left. And these are the flashlights from the lot. Um, minus Jen's vape. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it's awesome because like this is 16 items. It doesn't take much. And it's small. <laughs> the yeah. biggest pain in the butt packing up is going to be this one. And the records. And the records. But they actually won't be that bad because I have special boxes for these. I have one right here. eBay boxes are 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And it'll be a little thick. I'll just have to bubble wrap in between each one. But it actually won't take me that long on these. I'll probably recycle that one there. That was a return for one of the the Beatles albums that I shipped out. The guy was I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> he, he should have kept it because of what he wanted it for. But um, that's it. Um, I may insert a clip here of a haul because we were at a, uh, an auction all day Saturday. It was two auctions. I'm going to tr try to get a video of the haul, but we're trying to get through all the liquidation.com pallets that we got. Um, and then get it all videoed and put away and then bring that stuff in. So it may or may not happen. So if it does, cool. Hey, this is the whole video that we got from the auctions from Saturday, yesterday. Um, there's two auctions we spent. All day. Yeah, all day there. <laughs> I wanna, it was like 170 and like 70 but not all that was mine. So about $200 roughly is what we spent. Um, you'll need to make up some of this money because the liquidation.com deals are not working out very well for us. Um, pretty much it's all this cup and then a few pieces here. Some fair amount of stuff in there. There's my bear. Yep. So this is a HBA. bunch of HBA, but the piece that caught my eye was that, because I've sold that before. It's, uh, I think I looked at it correct. It's white shoulders. Oh, lady perfume. Yep. It's wow. It, yeah, it's pretty much new. Um, I think I've sold this before for like twenty, twenty-five bucks. Um, pretty decent money. Um, I gave, I think I gave a dollar, maybe two, for that. Wasn't much. 
this lot here, I think I gave another dollar or two for it. Just little toys. Yeah, it's little toys. Got to be something in there. This is a whole lot of Micro Machine stuff. I think it's a 95 is when this stuff is from. This is actually a mix of much more than just Endor. I did not get, it's funny because there was a, a an ATST there, which is, for those of you that know in Star Wars people, this guy. And I, that's the one one piece I, I didn't get. Why? Because the guy ran it up to like $30. Oh. It was just ridiculous. So this one, this one, and this one, I bought, oh, wait, 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 where is this? Where is it? I did get that one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, it was the bigger version. I'm sorry. That's the one I'm thinking of. It was the 95 one, the, the full size one, not the micro machine like this guy. I got these were five dollars a flat, basically. Say so 15 for all three. 15 for all three of them. I will make really good money on these. I'm pretty sure the indoor one itself is 40, 50 bucks. It will work out pretty good. This was some books that were I picked up, and really that's the only thing I wanted from it. Wizard of Oz coloring book. I thought it was pretty cool. I gave a buck for the lot. Was it, it colored in? Uh, I don't know. I need to look at. Oh, okay. It. This was. Someone gave it to you, right? Yeah, somebody gave me this one. There's probably a little bit of money in there for that one. Sure. This is one of the pieces that I had marked. I was definitely after. This is the Call of Duty box. I think pretty much everything's in here. I gotta look. I was looking up individual comps on this stuff. And like this was 25. The encyclopedia was 25. But this has everything in it. The whole box. It's like you didn't take it out and play with it at all. It was, or display it, it, it. It came with. I, I think it was a promo piece for when when, when this came out. I think you got that with the Xbox. It was like an elite package. I can't find any comps on the box at all. Um, I'm going to shoot for the stars on it. And we'll see what happens. I know the two pieces that are in there. They're that'll add up to fifty bucks. I gave, I think, seven dollars for it. It wasn't much, so I'm, I'm definitely going to be happy with that for sure. This one was at an auction. Given to you. Yeah, just given to me. It's an Erector Connect set. I was like, I know you do toys. I'm like, all right, cool. So this is, uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to word this one. This was Jen's Epic. I'm pretty sure it's going to be failed, but, but we'll see. I have faith. These two little stuffies and the quick draw. And the other quick draw, which is missing pieces. Missing two pieces on quick that one. Yeah, it's worthless, basically. I don't know what kind of values in this. It's definitely worn and beat up. She better hope those stuffies, because she gave $17 for that lot. Yes, but tell them, show them why. It, they're all, <laughs> you know, yeah, you just barely touch this thing and it squeaks. I love him. He's mine. So, then she got some... This guy here, this uh, Tupperware piece, actually has the lid. Yeah, that's... It is scary rare to get the lid with these things. And I had one want me to sell it to them at the auction. Yeah, another dealer. She was like, are you gonna, what are you going to do with that? And she was like, we're going to sell that. I told her to say that. But, um, yeah, I don't remember how much I gave for that, what I got for that last one. It was... That? Five. I think with the lid, I can probably get about 15 bucks for that. And then there's some... Uh, vintage... Um, threads, like tablecloths, there's a whole bunch of them in there. Jen got them. Pretty Bed cheap. sheets. Yeah, you name it, it's in there. And that owl, don't know if that's worth anything. Yeah, we'll see. This is another one that I picked up. It's got uh, a whole bunch of Javon Musk in it. Old school brutes. So this stuff sells, man. I mean, these bottles are new. There's like nothing out of them. People love this stuff. You can't get it anymore. DoorDash for men. Yeah, this is just, this is stuff you can't get. I didn't get much for it either. Oh, 
So, food processor. That's a stable in our life. I don't even need to tell you about that, guys. <clears throat> Blend it out, part it out, but I guarantee you that's worth more in parts than it is whole. I gave a buck for that. That's the blades for it. Yep, this is the chopper. Awesome. Blades inside. Um, nine out of ten times, this and and the blade are, are thirty bucks. Well, it has the directions with it still. Yeah, too. it's got everything with it, but I'll look it up and see what happens. Um, this is a Britannica Junior set. The guy bought the in run out, and I'm like, "How much do you want for the Britannica set?" He was like, "Just take it." He's a viewer. Uh, he does watch the videos. So thank I mean, you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Last Britannica set I got was in better shape. I think oh, I got oh. forty or fifty bucks for it. But like it was a full size. The, the full you're thinking. Jen made that sound because we had a Britannica set, like a legit Britannica college, and it stood like this tall when I shipped it out. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Massive. But I paid I think five or ten bucks for it. I think it was fifty, wasn't it? No, I didn't know I didn't pay nowhere near that. Um, but it was like a three hundred dollar sale. It just it was it, good. Yeah, it was miserable to pack. <laughs> I was just crying. The um, whole flat of uh, gloves. There's some Rawlings, um, Louisville Sluggers. Yeah, this is the Regent, the Franklin. The, like, some of them are kids, some of them are adults. That was after the other flap, but the other guy ran it up to 15 bucks. It had a Mizuno on it. They can be good money, but at 15 bucks, it's just scary not knowing which one it is. Um, this was an end run. There's a doll in there, a couple die cast. Nothing spectacular. They're the old racing champion pieces. I'll probably lot them up, 20 bucks, ship them, call it a day. And there is this Jen was after this one because she. Show them why. Yeah, she me. This is interesting. So, Red Riding Hoods, flip it, the wolf, the girl. That way you can, you can read the story to them, Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, it, it's cool. Definitely cool. Then there was a lady got another lot that I wanted. I didn't want to pay much. I only wanted to pay $5 for it because this was the only piece I wanted. It was a dark crystal piece, Age of Resistance. Um, this is the, the Silk Spitter. I, I, she paid $8 for a lot. I was like, look, I'll give you 5 bucks just for this. And she was like, okay. It had, I forget what was on there, something that she wanted, a Fortnite pieces or something. And that happens a lot at auctions. Yeah, you'll have that. And That's why you make friends. Yeah, so she paid $3 for what she got, and I got what I wanted, and I knew I can sell this. It's like a $25 piece, and it'll sell fast. Uh, Dark Crystal was redone. I don't know if any of you guys know that, but that's why they're worth some money. And then this flat I bought, I got the Angry Birds for a buck separately, and then this flat all came together. Um, Winter Soldier, X Men truck, and then some Steel Legends and some My Little Ponies. <laughs> That's a new one, though. Yeah, there's a newer one, but I think I looked up the My Little Ponies. They're like 15 bucks. Oh, yeah, you can get one out of them. The whole flat, I think, was five bucks, maybe. It wasn't much. All right, what else got? You got right here. Yep, this guy. I didn't see him get this. I think it's pretty cool. It is. It's a clear see-through. Color. Um, so the big versions of these guys, um, even in non-working shape, but in working shape, you get more money. The big version of these guys can go for several hundred dollars. They're in demand. People want them. They're nostalgic. I mean, they're, they're yeah. cool. Um, this one, I saw it outside. It was it was in a row lot. Of oh, it was outside? It was outside. That's what concerns me. So I'm going to plug it in and see if it works. I gotta look at comps, but I'm pretty confident this is a fifty to seventy-five dollar piece. Yeah, it has the cords and everything. Yeah, the there. cords and everything are still there. I, I don't, I honestly don't even think it was ever used. But you never know. The box is still there, so it's, yeah, it's a Spectra five inch. It's a hey, it's black and white. It's a black and white. Black and white. Wow. That's kind of scary. Uh, a couple pieces down there. Not a ton of money in there. Um, some vintage, Lineage, I mean, White House linens. treatments, yep. <clears throat> and there's something else on the floor over there. I got it. Yeah. This guy, I gotta count this. This is, I'm gonna hate this, but I wanted it. 
It's a 368 piece assembly. Mason. <laughs> I gotta count it. Hopefully, it's all there. We'll pay you to do it. Yeah. So, if it's all there, I think I gave eight bucks. Well, they wanted to charge you twice, remember? Yeah. I don't remember what it was. Um, yeah, there was. I wish I was recording that. That, that was It was comical. They were talking about. They wanted to sell these heifers. I'm like, but the box goes with that. And all the other dealers that were standing next to were saying the same thing. Um, but that's the box I got to go through. Didn't just a me too. Yeah, I think 50 to 75 bucks rings a bell. I don't remember where it's at. Just I just know it's, it's I'm going to be pulling my hair out. So there's two lots of comics in there. Oh, and you know you got those either. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. like three bucks of flat form. They're not bad. Um, these are pretty cool. Some old Mickey with... I don't know why I pantered down. <laughs> but there, I mean, this is a whole flat of Mickey. Jen picked this up, I think, for a buck. Yep. It's my skull. Yeah. I think that's about it, huh? These guys. I forget what these are called again. Pumpkins. Yeah, but what they're made of. I, I thought they were older than what they were, but... Eh, whatever. They're cool. Yeah. Some bingo, some dominoes. Some books. I have no idea what they are. Um, I see. I, I did have get. Them. I did get some electronics. One of the pieces is here. One of the pieces is sold. Yeah, I sold one already. But this is a Magnavox VHS DVD combo. Um, I paid five bucks for it. So far, everything that I've gotten tested out really good. Um, my brother was over and he saw there was. A Yamaha 5-disc carousel. It was a really good piece. I overpaid for it. I got it kind of got into heat when I was just looking at stuff. <laughs> I paid 30 bucks for that one piece. I, my brother said, how much you want for it? I'm like, dude, it sells for like 80 bucks on eBay. How about 40 bucks? Just get me out from under it. That way I don't have to eat fees and everything else. He was like, okay, I'll take it for that for sure. It was like half price. And then the Yamaha receiver, which I got, was I uh, forget the number, but it was like a 797... Yamaha receiver. It was a true sound. So anybody that knows receivers with Yamaha true sounds, those are the better receivers from Yamaha. It's about a hundred eighty to two hundred dollar receiver. That's why I didn't mind spending the thirty bucks. But when he said you take both, I went. You did again. So yeah, I can edit that out too. <laughs> um, but yeah, that and oh, I got a. It was a six channel impedance balancing. Um, Rust found module got for five bucks as well. That should sell for about 80 bucks. Uh, all that stuff's on the other side because we were testing it because my brother was here. Otherwise, I would show you. But um, if I think about it and remember, I'll put up some, some clips of what they look like um, if I can get around to listing them before I edit this video. But yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, I definitely got my $200 worth out of all this stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll get it out of the receiver alone. I'll make my money back, and everything else is going to be profit. A lot better than the uh, pallets. Yeah, those things. <laughs> but they're fun to do. They're fun. They're they're they're, they're great videos. Um, you guys seem to really like those videos. Like when I do the bulk ones, those are even like the bulk ones I did. They're old. They're from like last year. But you guys, we didn't have to edit. Yeah, I was still learning how to edit <laughs> back then, and got a lot better at it. But we'll see. Um, things are definitely changing because now we got the GoPro Hero Eight. We shot all those videos with them. I'm gonna edit them and see how they do and see how they look but uh, this yes. one we still shot on my phone like like all the other videos but that uh, thanks for joining us guys we appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one